The simplest of the collision resolution protocol is the HALO protocol designed at the University of Hawaii in the 70s. Basically, the protocol is very simple. When a frame arrives for transmission, the station, the user simply transmits the frame and waits for an acknowledgement. If an acknowledgement arrived, we're done. We know that the transmission of the packet or the frame was successful. Otherwise, we wait a random time and go to one, namely transmit again. Note that if two users transmit at the same time, their transmission overlaps, both transmissions are gobbled, and none of the users is going to get an acknowledgement for its transmission. In this diagram, we see an example of how Aloha is working. Time is flowing this way, and each rectangle represents a transmission of a frame where the left end is the transmission of the first bit and the right end is the last reception of the reception of the last bit. So what you can see here is five users using the same channel. User E is transmitting successfully its first frame. And then users D and C transmit with an overlapping period. So both their frames are collided and we have multiple colli collisions here. And then each, if it, in, if it, each of these users is uh, uh, picking a random time for retransmission. And as you can see, user E was successful, and then D and C. And while the A and B are still trying to find, uh, uh, transmit their own colliding frame, user E managed to transmit a third frame uh, in between uh, 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 other user frames. So what we can see here is um, that things, these things can work, However, uh, bandwidth is not necessarily uh, allocated fairly among the users because as you can see here, user E managed to transmit three frames before user A managed to transmit even one. So think of uh, constant size frames. All frames are size T. So if my red frame is transmitted starting at time T0, it will be successful if nobody is going to transmit while I'm transmitting, but also if nobody is going to start transmitting up to T time units before I started transmitting, is because then I will collide with the tail of its transmission. So we have a sensitive period of around of two T times. Using this uh, uh, observation, we can calculate the throughput and see that the maximum achievable throughput in an LO protocol is only 18% of the capacity.